This, this is gonna be a good video. I mean, we're gonna do a video on toilets. Who isn't interested in this? But not just any toilets. Today we're gonna to talk about luxury toilets. And one of the luxuries that's been allowed for a really long time are bidets. Now, bidets have been getting tons of press because their sales have soared in the last year. I have not one, not two, but three in my house. And just fun to talk about. All right, so we have to start with what a bidet is. There's two types of bidets. There's the bidet that's like the all-in-one bidet toilet. And then there's the add-on, which is the washlet, like what you see here. This is just an add-on to your existing toilet. So anyone's toilet that you currently have, you can go buy this seat add-on, and it just goes right on top, replaces your old seat. And you only need two things. You need a plumber's wrench, because the supply line that comes from the side, you're just gonna add the little plumbing that comes off the side here, and that's what gives it water. And you need power, so you need an outlet. If you don't have an outlet nearby, you can run an extension cord. But eventually you'll probably want an outlet somewhere nearby, so you might have to pay an electrician to do that. But other than the electrician to add the outlet, you can add one of these very easily. They just screw in the back, you get a plumber's wrench, and you put the supply line here, just from the floor into the back of the tank, and it's ready to go. Okay, so why should you want a bidet? Let's talk about some of the fun things of a bidet, because there's a whole story of how we eventually got three in our house, and I'll save that for later, because we'll talk about it. But what a bidet has. First of all, my favorite feature, oh, heated seats. Don't ever let bare skin touch porcelain ever again. The heated seats are totally worth it. And as you can see, it just started spraying. This one has a pre-rinse. It's based on pressure, because I'm putting pressure on the toilet seat. So it's starting to clean the wand, and it's pre-spraying the seat, which, the inside of the bowl, rather, so that, you know, stuff slides down easier. And this one has a whole bunch of features. So we have a little remote on the wall. You have your front and your back. You have your oscillating mode, so you know, if like too many burritos, you can get a little extra rinse in a car wash. We have a heated fan, so you even have a blow dry option. So, I mean, it takes away all the toilet paper needs. And you can even program your favorite settings. This is so awesome. It is really, anyone who owns one will tell you like it is the cleanly way to use the restroom. And we all have to. And so why not get something that's super luxurious like this? So my builders now are all starting to add outlets behind their toilets because this is a new luxury item that people are requesting. But because you can add this add-on, you can now get into the mainstream market. And so the Wall Street Journal was saying bidets have finally broken that fad and become a mainstream consumer product. And that is a great way to get one of these in your house for like three to 600 bucks. They're not that expensive anymore. All right, let's continue talking about bidets, but let's go down and visit a local supplier, Plum Supply, and talk to one of the reps. So bidets have been around for a long time, longer than I thought, actually. The first recorded bidet in history was the early 1700s in Sicily, Italy, and they started to get more popular in the early 20th century. And then we started to see some more mainstream releases in the 50s and 60s, but it wasn't until 1980 that Toto released the first electronic bidet that we really saw them take off. And that was when they became more mainstream worldwide. Now, the U.S. never really caught on to them as much. We had a lot of different feelings than our counters, like the Europeans and Asian markets. But now we're starting to see it come back, thanks in large part to the pandemic and the toilet paper shortage. And now they've become not only a luxury item, but something for the mainstream market, which has really shifted from what was once just a fad to now what's a consumer must have. And they're really starting to take off and their sales have soared and made tons of newspaper articles in the last year. And I think it's finally the tipping point that they've been waiting for in the United States. So I'm excited to be going down to Plum Supply today where we're gonna be meeting with Leanne Vitoche who is a local supplier for plumbing fixtures, anything from bathroom fixtures to uh, kitchen faucets to shower fixtures and of course, toilets. So let's go down and check out their facility and showroom and have a chat with Leanne.
Leah and Vitash, thank you so much for having us to this beautiful showroom yeah, today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about some of the products you sell here, because this place is beautiful. So we are um, Plum Supply Company, celebrating 75 years in business this year. Um, we are a wholesale showroom, mostly catering to homeowners, new construction and remodel. And we carry a lot of Kohler, Delta, Brizo, Moen, a lot of the name brands. Well, that's great. I know the reason we got connected is because I know a lot of the builders and general contractors I work with, they highly recommend you. They think your service here is great. And it's just a great showroom to come touch, Thank feel, you. and see the products. Yeah, lots of stuff to see. Yeah, but yeah. today we're talking about something fun and exciting, of course. So uh, let's jump into toilets. So bidets have just taken off in the last 12 months. Correct. And so what product uh, bidets do you sell here? What so brand? we carry the Kohler bidets okay. um, and we have a wide variety of those available. They kind of range in different price ranges depending on sort of the bells and whistles that each seat may have. Um, and so you need an electrical outlet and some water. And, and that's, that's really all that you need for the bidets to function. Um, but within those seats, like I said, there's a lot of different options and um, accessories. So like what, heated, heated seats? Yep. You got the um, front and cold wash. Yep. You and got the, built in dryers? Yep, air dryers and UV lighting for the wands, um, several UV things light. like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. each time the wand is used, does it use UV lighting and a rinse or just UV lighting? Both. Okay, mm -hmm. so these are really sterile. They are. Yes, they are. Because yep. I know that's a big thing that yeah. customers are trying Some to do. Some people do have the misconception that the bidet seats aren't cleanly. Um, but however, they really are. They're recommended if you do a lot of research, you can see doctors and things like that do a lot of um, nursing homes and things like that. They do a lot of reports and a lot of information on that and they really do help um, customers be able to stay clean and healthy. Well, uh, uh, Kohler just had a, a, an annual reporting just, just a couple months ago and they said they've sold eight times more bidets yeah. than they did 12 months ago. Eight right. times, that yeah. is a lot So that's of overall for Kohler who sells <laughs> around the world, of course. So yeah. our showroom has not seen that much influx, but we definitely have had a lot more um, interest in them, questions and, and higher sales for sure. Um, so I think it's going to be something that's going to stick around and people are now kind of becoming more interested in it, more comfortable with it. And so I think we'll continue to see the sales. That, that, that's exciting. Now, obviously, yeah. I love bidets. I have three of them. Uh -huh. I think they're great accessory. And mm -hmm. now that the prices have come down, yeah. they've kind of moved. They're still a luxury item. Correct. But I think it's more of a mainstream affordability that a general person could buy one. Yeah. And within the Kohler, we have some as high as over a thousand, and that would have kind of every possible accessory piece to it. and. Um, you know, just kind of be that higher price range all the way down to some that have more of a manual handle even for just a few hundred dollars that yeah. wouldn't require that electrical outlet. Um, but yeah, there is a range of those just kind of based on the different um, bells and whistles that are on each seat. Very fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. if a customer wants to come in and check mm -hmm. one out, I understand first of all that you have two live ones in each of the customer We bathrooms. do, we have two working bidet seats <laughs> in both restrooms. And then we have a couple on just our toilets um, in, that are freestanding here in the showroom that you can at least see and touch the pads and see how those function. And so would they just come in during some regular hours or should they contact you first for an yeah, appointment? Yeah, we do prefer appointments if at all possible, just so we can give you the best possible service and have time to dedicate to you when you do come in. Um, we're here Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4.30. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I'll leave your phone number in the listing description and the below on the video. Perfect. And uh, this is great. Yeah. I appreciate you taking Thank some you. time. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks nice so much. Nice to meet you. They have three Kohler models at this showroom floor. Here's one of them, but the other two they have in the bathrooms are really cool. Let's go take a look. So this is another one that they have here. This is actually one of the bathrooms. You can actually come touch it and look at it. Uh, I'm not going to sit on it because you wouldn't be able to see what it's doing. But one of the common misconceptions is, is that bidets aren't clean and they're very cleanly and they have a sanitizing system right built into them. So if I push this button here, you can actually clean it manually. But every time you sit on it, the seat's pressure loaded. It actually self cleans itself before and after. So what it's doing is, and if you see carefully, there's a little blue light, so there's UV light and it's actually shining the light on it to kill all the germs and then it's rinsing it. And it does this both before and after each use. So they're very cleanly and it's all concealed in this little unit back here. So you see like the door and the contraption even hides and shuts as well. Okay, this is one of the coolest toilets. So watch this, as you get close, it 
automatically opens. I mean, how cool is that? So this toilet actually, one of the builders I work with put in for one of the clients this year and it is awesome. Actually, the plumber who put it in said that they loved it so much, they're thinking about buying one. This one is so cool. This is Kohler's top of the line. Uh, you have the LED display here, all the little functions. Uh, this one is everything you could want in your luxury bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this episode on bidet toilets. If you'd like to see more about the Iowa City real estate market, please hit the subscribe button and follow for more weekly videos. Lastly, I have to dedicate this video to my high school videographer teacher. She said, boys, you can film anything you want, just don't film toilets. And for two decades, I've done a good job, but today I broke that. So Susie McNeil, this is dedicated to you. Thanks for watching. To my friend Stan Laverman, you always wanted to do a podcast of bidets and whiskey. Cheers. Your move.